Well, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Good morning, YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to the Rugly Channel. It's morning, so we have coffee in the morning, right? Well, I got a package here. It's called Rise Coffee. RiseSuperfoods.com. So this was like a, I don't know, one of those ads that pop up on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit or whatever it was. And it was like, here, this product, buy this product. We think that you'll like it. So... Before I open this up, I just want to say that I am not in any way affiliated with or endorsed by RiseSuperfoods.com. I just picked this up because I saw it and I thought it would be fun to try it out. This isn't just everyday coffee though. This is mushroom coffee. Yeah, that's right. I said that. This is coffee that has mushrooms in it. So here's the coffee. This is like instant coffee. It's not ground coffee. It's like instant coffee. You just mix it with hot water. It comes with this spoon. A little card. It says ingredient list. Uh, cordyceps for stamina. Lion's mane for focus. Turkey tail for digestion. King trumpet for inflammation. Shiitake for immunity. Rishi for stress relief. MCT oil for fat burn. And Arabica coffee for energy. Our blend, enhanced with functional mushrooms and MCT, delivers calm energy that promotes focus, productivity, adrenal health, and yes, happiness. Our ingredients have been studied from thousands of years and found to enhance brain function, boost immunity, and give balanced energy that keeps you shining all day long with less than half the caffeine of a cup of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it has less than half the caffeine of one cup of coffee, probably not gonna do it. Probably not gonna work for me. Um, yeah, I thought this would be really fun. That's why I picked it up. It's for science. It kind of smells like mushrooms. It doesn't really smell like coffee. Okay, pause. Mixer, water to make the coffee, and I put it in this clear cup so that we can see what this stuff looks like. I don't know. That don't look like coffee. Like I already put cream in it. I didn't put nothing in there. I don't put cream in my coffee. I take it black, thanks. Smells like mushrooms. Not getting much coffee from that. <clears throat> I may need to meditate a little bit before I try this out. Straight up, mushroom tea. It does not taste like coffee at all. <laughs> It smells like hot mushrooms. Definitely tastes like mushrooms. You can see uh, the sediment that it's leaving around the edge of the cup. So what exactly do you pair with mushroom tea? I mean, rice coffee. Got some praline cookies and cream. Yeah, that's right, stone breaker. Yeah, that's a decent pairing. It actually kind of tastes like coffee now. It doesn't just taste like wet mushrooms. This stone breaker, like I said, it's pecan cookies and cream. That's a fresh bottle of it. I just mixed that one up. This one I made on November 28th, and that was before it had a name. For the last couple of months, while I kind of tweaked that recipe, I couldn't decide what I wanted to call it. You know me and names, right? I had to come up with something great, and then my aunt passed away a couple days ago. So, you know, I wanted to name this after her, give her a little bit of tribute. Grieving is hard. Like, grieving is different for everybody, right? And, like, a lot of that is predicated by your own personal spirituality. I participated in a study by the Virginia Institute for Character about character values, and my personal test results showed that spirituality was on the bottom of my list. I am not a spiritual person, and, and a large part of that is because I really don't know what I believe, what I want to believe. I, I feel like a lot of whatever I do believe is is, is rooted in science, and, and I'm not, not a super duper religious person. Um, but discovering my own personal spirituality is also a very important part of me growing as a person. So in therapy, I have been trying to work on my spirituality or getting in touch with something bigger than me. You know, honestly, I kind of just want to be a Jedi. You know, when I die, I just want to like vaporize and become part of the force and then come back and haunt my children as a ghost. 
And that's not a joke either. Like that sounds like something that I really, really want to do. But what I have discovered so far, really what I have discovered so far, I just enjoy spreading love and happiness. I want to be a beacon of light, just like my aunt was a beacon of light for me. I just remember her being this, like as a child, just this bright light. You know, I feel like she was very, very good at talking to children, communicating with them effectively. Some adults really kind of struggle with that. You know, kids don't understand them. They don't understand the kids, but she always, always, always had a good way of communicating with children. And, and, and I didn't realize this until after I found out that she'd passed away, but she affected me tremendously and she lived out of state so I only saw her maybe a couple of times a year but um she's the reason why I like tattoos 100% she had this really cool it was like vines with with roses on it that was just kind of crawling up the back of her hand and it went around her f fingers and and it was very unusual you know never really seen a tattoo like that before and it was almost like borderline celtic but it was still it was still very realistic looking it had like thorns and I, I don't know it was a very very cool tattoo and then also when I was like 12 um, she was into photography or something. I don't know. Maybe I just kind of swindled her into it, but she took some pictures of me and then photoshopped me as a Jedi with a lightsaber or as Boba Fett with a gun. And, and then she sent me these pictures of me like posters. And, and I, I feel like that's probably the reason why I like Star Wars so much. I still love Star Wars to this day. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things on the planet. So she influenced me a ton. And the least that I could do was name this recipe after her. So Donna, this one's for you. I'm going to start off with, you know, what I think is a tremendous ingredient and I hardly ever see it used. Um, don't let the label on this bottle fool you. This is Wonder Flavors Roasted Pecans and Cream. And I love, 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 love this flavor. It's roasted, it's dark, it's nutty, and it has a really, really pleasant, like light kind of cream. The cream note is definitely not the highlight of that flavor. It's a wonderful roasted pecan flavor, and we're gonna use it in this recipe at 3%. The cream, it needs a little bit of help, and we're gonna use 2% of FA Custard Premium. Yeah, hey guys, I, uh, I, I emptied my first bottle of Custard Premium. Good thing I bought more. Good thing Bull City Flavors also has these flavors now so that we don't have to import them from somewhere else. And then my favorite vanilla to use for desserts, 1% of Vape Train Vanilla Classic. So there's your cream note, we've got your pecan note. Now for the cookie, for the cookie, uh, I started with 3% of F.A. Vanilla cookie, and I really, really liked it. It stands out with the pecan, and they, those two notes kind of blend together, but it needed a little bit more. So I added 2% of Capella sugar cookie. When I got vanilla cookie, it really blew me away. I wasn't expecting that much from it, but it's a tremendous cookie flavor, and I think this is like my new favorite cookie mix. 3% vanilla cookie, 2% uh, sugar cookie, and then 1% of Flavora caramel because it's not a cookie without Flavora caramel. I use it at 1% in here. Normally I use it at, at half a percent for a cookie, but I think that it does something really, really nice to those roasted pecans. So I wanted to push that flavor up a little bit. Yeah, but 1% uh, of Flavor West Sweetener is what I used in here. Feel free to use, you know, whatever, however much, it's all good. That is a surprisingly delicious pairing and yeah, I can still taste the mushrooms, but uh, that's okay. Who knows, maybe that stuff is gonna change my life. Listen, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn the notification button on so that I get to annoy you every time I upload a video. Like, comment, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.